Howdy everyone, it's me Grace, and welcome back. Today, I'm giving these cheap elf ears I got on Amazon a makeover. These are the kind of elf ears that sit behind your real ears and curl around your earlobe like this. Just as a comparison, here's what they looked like before being painted. You couldn't tell that much of a difference head on, but if I turned to the side, you'd really be able to tell that they just didn't match my skin tone at all. You can get different skin tones of these ears, but honestly, there's not a lot of tones to choose from, which is a real bummer. But don't fret, no matter what color of generic ears you end up getting, you can change them to any color you like. Here's how. First, I'm masking off the areas that I'll be applying my prosthetic adhesive to when I wear these over and over again. This will prevent paint from chipping off your ears when taking them on and off. Also, you won't be able to see these unpainted parts when you're wearing them anyway. Next, I'm priming my ears with a coat of Mr. Super Clear. I learned about Mr. Super Clear from the amazingly skilled doll customizers here on YouTube. I just figured they'd probably work on these ears as well, since doll faces and these ears are made of a similar material. Once the ears are completely dry, I'm mixing up some acrylic paint to create a closer match to my skin tone. I'm even applying a little dot of paint to my hand so I can see if I need to mix in any other colors before continuing. Just remember, the thing with acrylic paint is it'll dry a slightly different color once it's dried. So it's worth doing a couple test parts before committing to a color. I'm deciding to apply my paint with an airbrush here, but you can also use a sponge to avoid making obvious brush strokes if you'd like. Once my first coat is dry, I'm going in with a slightly deeper color for my low lights. I also wanted the tips of my ears to be a flush pink color. I just thought it would be cute. And these kinds of fun decisions are your choice and it's what's going to make your ears really unique to you. I wanted to add freckles to the ears so they'd match my face. I mixed up some brown and flicked little speckles onto the ears like this with a paintbrush. I added another coat of Mr. Super Clear to lock in my progress. Honestly, I still wasn't completely satisfied with the color, but then a little light bulb went off. What if I use my own makeup and concealer for more low lights and highlights to make it closer to my skin color. I thought it was worth a try and I was really impressed with how well it worked. I let the makeup dry completely on the ears before using a light coat of Mr. Super Clear over it. I was worried that it would come off at first, even with the primer sprayed over it, but it was permanently stuck in place. I went over it again with some of my favorite blush colors from my eyeshadow palette. I primed it again and finally removed the masking tape. And here's what they look like when they're on. They definitely match my skin tone a lot better than before. This was definitely a trial and error project, but I'm really happy with how they turned out. I hope you liked following along on this little project, and I'll see you again soon. Bye, y'all.